Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and today we are reviewing the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star Conspiracy Palette. So I did pick up both the Mini Controversy Palette, oh look at that hollow in the light, and then the Conspiracy Palette. They went on sale on November 1st and apparently broke the internet and sold out within a few hours. I was able to get mine through Beautylish when I noticed that the Jeffree Star website was shutting down. Um, and I do have to give a huge shout out to Beautylish. I got this on Tuesday and I ordered it on Friday. And I live in the middle of the country where things take forever to get here. I was really pleased with how quickly I got the palettes and of course I could not wait to play with them. So here we are. I created this look with the Conspiracy palette and all of the food related shadows. Alright, so if you want to see how the Conspiracy palette with Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star worked out for me, stay tuned! This bad boy is the Conspiracy palette. I have to say that as somebody who works in marketing, watching this series and just seeing the packaging actually arriving is kind of like it takes me back a little bit. Um, I do have to say I love the attention to detail. So this is the outer carton. You pull it open and this is the conspiracy palette on the inside. Now can we just take a moment to look at how big this thing is. It's massive. Like so here's a another favorite of mine. But look at this. This thing is definitely a piece for a collection. So taking a little bit of a look at the details here, you can see that it says conspiracy and then there's the Shane Dawson logo and it's metal, which is kind of neat. So it's a little applique to the box, which has a bit of a pyramid to it, but this is metal, so it's very cool. And it has little clips and there it is. So here is the Conspiracy palette. I do have to say the attention to detail on these pans is freaking amazing and adorable. I almost hate to dip into these colors to ruin the pressings because they are so cute. The one I never noticed on any of the photos was my rides here and it's got like a little steering wheel on it. How cute, like there's a pig on pigment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Tanacon is a crying eye. Diet root beer's got a mug of root beer. So much detail went into these color or these pan pressings that it's it's impressive. I will say off the bat, the photos, especially the press photos, do not give justice to the colors in real life. When I first saw the photos that came out, I was feeling a little meh, like it was going to be kind of a lackluster palette. But actually getting them here and seeing them live and in person, you can really see the variation in the colors um, and how actually usable I think this palette will be. But we're not really here to make a usable look today. I really want to play with some of the colors and I think I'm going to do a look just using the food related items. I'm going to start with diet root beer. Holy Moses. All right, so I was not expecting that much pigment to be on the first swipe. That's a really, really pretty color. It actually is a very root beery brown. It's a little bit warm, got that little bit of caramel to it. Really pretty. And I want to kind of blur that out a little bit, so I'm going to use my pills, which is technically not a food, but you consume them, so we're just going to give that one a break. It's a really nice kind of buffing out shade. It's a ballet slipper pink, which I actually really like. It's kind of a grayish toned pink um, that I think is always just beautiful. Um, so far, these mattes have been applying very, very nicely. All right, next I'm gonna grab cheese dust here and kind of work on the lid a little. Now I'm gonna grab Flaming Hot over here and just kind of work that into the corners a little bit more.
Next, I'm gonna grab food videos, which I thought was gonna be a lot more green, but I'm actually really into this yellow color and just kind of finish out in the eye here. Now I'm gonna take root beer and flaming hot and run that under my eyes. I'm gonna go pop on lashes and I'll be back to finish the look. All right, so that's lashes on. They're a little dramatic, but what are you gonna do, right? Let's finish off with ranch. Ranch. If you know me, ranch is one of my top five foods. Like I will legit judge restaurants and if they have good ranch or not. It's like snowy. Ranch, what's up? A really nice, just white shimmer. I kind of like it. In fact, follow me here. Turns out ranch ain't a bad highlight. All right, so this is the finished look. Um, let's talk about some final thoughts. So when I purchased the Conspiracy palette, I actually got the eyeshadow bundle. So I got the mini controversy palette and the full Conspiracy palette. Um, so far, I have to say that I am really liking how these are performing. I'm definitely gonna have to play around a little bit. This is a first impressions video for sure, um, but the mattes, they perform very nicely. They blend very well. The color pigmentation is very nice, has a great payoff. I do think though that there are some really good opportunities for a lot of different color stories in here. Like you could definitely look at them row by row and do looks um, and then they can, you know, go together as well. Um, I think this Illuminati shade, it's A grungy green that'll be a lot of fun to play with but there was a moment in the series where Shane was talking about that he wanted his eyeshadows to be wearable and you could see him talking to Morgan about the colors that she always wears she says I go for the browns and you know the lighter colors and these neutrals I don't really play around with these crazy bright colors so much so he really wanted to make a palette that had a lot of wearable shades in it and I do think that that was pulled off yes there are some crazy fun shades with the you know food videos in here and the um what is this Ugh, flaming hot it's just like next to Cheeto dust perfect. Um, but I think a lot of these can really be a lot of day-to-day -day shades, which is very nice. And then there's the mini controversy palette, which um, I'm going to have to do some playing around with this one too. I am in love with this shade here. Um, well, controversy. It is a beautiful bright purple. And I thought these two shades would be really similar, but they're quite different. This is a real cerulean blue and this has got, um, it's got a bit of a shimmer to it but it's more in the royalish blue category but it's a lighter hue um but this shade here my apology this was the shade that i saw when they swatched it for the first time in the video series that was the actual shade that sold me on actually wanting to buy these it swatched so beautifully and it did today when i swatched it earlier so i'm really glad that i got that because i think that one is going to probably be my favorite shade to play with out of all of these so were these two palettes worth 72 dollars um I'm not sure yet. I can't say. So far, I'm really enjoying using them. I think the color payoff is very nice. They blend nicely. They're large pans, so there's, you know, a decent amount of product in each square. Um, but that's expensive. Um, if you know me, I am a bit of a drugstore ass bitch where uh, I just... I was unemployed for a long time, so that's a lot of money to spend in one place. Um, but I do think the quality is definitely there, and the packaging 
is absolutely gorgeous. I am super into this. I think it's very well thought out. Like I said, I have a marketing background, so seeing everything that goes into this whole thing and making it personalized and just the very unique shape um, and size and everything that goes into the background behind this just melts my marketing heart. So I like it really just on that front as well. I do know that these palettes have sold out and they will probably at this point not be restocked until next year. Um, they said the early part of next year, but they will be coming back into stock. So far, I'm really liking them. Um, if it's in your budget and you want to check it out, I would say I would recommend this. All right, you guys, so that is it for me today. Tell me what you think about these palettes. Did you get them? Did you try to get them? Do you not care? Are you watching the series? What do you think about it? Um, I definitely want to hear you guys sound off, so let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you liked this video. I am so glad you are here. I hope you have a really great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, 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 bye.